Hello future architects and welcome back to Arquitecturo. So for this video, we'll be talking about the proper ways on how to hold a pencil using this grip. And also we'll be talking about how to apply different pressures in your different strokes using a drafting pencil. So let's check it out. So for this video, we'll be talking about how to hold the pencil properly. Usually when you're writing, you hold your pen or pencil very near the point. You do this because it's easier for you to write words continuously. However, in pencil sketching and drafting, this kind of grip is not really advisable. If you use this grip for drafting, this will be limiting your strokes. As you can see, when you use this grip, your stroke range is limited only to this area. Furthermore, this part of your palm will be tight and it will be difficult for you to create strokes in different directions. Aww. It is very limiting. So what's better to use then? In pencil sketching, it is best to hold your pencil in the middle part just like this. It's about one, one and a half to two and a half inches from your pencil point. As you can see, the pencil can be moved easier with a wider stroke range and you can move your pencil in different directions better than the previous grip you are using which only limits you to a shorter range. Also, your hand and wrist can move better and allow you to have a better control of your pencil. If you're left-handed, it applies the same. Just hold the pencil in the mid part but not too far away from the point. This type of grip makes it really easier to use strokes in different angles and directions. Another type of grip is this one where you hold a pencil just like holding a butter knife. You extend your index finger as a support to the pencil. This type of grip is used for doing wide and broad strokes. In doing finer strokes, it is better to use the other grip. This is quite good for large scale drawings, especially when you're doing shading using the strokes. Now let's talk about how to use light and heavy strokes. Starting off with light strokes using a hard pencil. We'll be starting off with an H pencil. First things first, make sure you're using the proper grip in pencil drafting and sketching. Next, Position your hand in a way that it makes it easier for you to move in the direction of your strokes. For this sample, I'm using a left to right hand direction. And in doing this, your wrist should be steady with your hand gripping the pencil. And let your elbows and shoulders be the one moving when you do the pencil strokes. You will see that your lines look light and almost unnoticeable. Now let's see what happens if we use a heavier stroke using the same pencil. In creating heavier strokes, you may add pressure in your strokes by putting more force in doing the pencil strokes as you create the lines. But not that much force because you may tear your paper or destroy your table. Aww. If you compare the lines done with lighter strokes than the ones done with heavier strokes, you'll notice that the lines look darker when applied with more force and pressure. This is the beauty of using a pencil because you can control the lightness and darkness of lines using different kinds of strokes. Now let's try it with a softer pencil. Let's try using a B pencil and see what the lines look like. Now 
Naturally, we'll expect the lines to be darker since we'll be using a softer pencil, but surprisingly, with light strokes, it seems like the lines look really light. Now let's try it with a heavier stroke. As you can see, the lines now look darker and more emphasized than the other set of lines. In conclusion, you can achieve light lines or darker lines using one type of pencil by decreasing or applying more pressure in your strokes. You'll be able to master the control of the pencil through a lot of practice. These strokes are used in a lot of drafting techniques, and one of them is cross hatching. Cross hatching is a drawing technique in using crossing lines, which create a shade or a texture in a certain area of a drawing. This is very useful in a lot of instances, and you can use it vertically horizontally, diagonally, and even in curves. Here's a quick sample of how strokes and cross hatching can be applied. First off, start with a hard pencil and using light strokes, sketch the building's silhouette or shape. This will serve as your main guide in drawing. Using the same pencil, sketch the guidelines for the details of the drawing but using a harder stroke. You can do this by just applying a bit more pressure in your strokes in order to make the lines pop out even more. Now, using a softer pencil, start detailing your drawing elements with a much harder stroke in order to give emphasis and make the details pop out even more. And now for the edges, apply smaller and finer line strokes to simulate shades and shadows which give a more effective three-dimensional effect which gives life to your drawing and it makes it more realistic. Apply more details to your drawing, and don't forget your background elements like trees, plants, and other details. If you noticed, we created this drawing without the use of straight edges but just freehand sketching method. You can achieve this by practicing a lot of your strokes in different directions and applying it in different drawings. And we're done! And there you have it. I hope you learned something from this video. Stay tuned for more lecture videos in Arquitecturo. And please don't forget to subscribe.